Hey everybody, back in GTA. I am trying out... Well, I'm gonna show you guys this. I've already tried out the open wheel races before. But I wanted to show you guys it since I haven't really showed you guys my take on it. Or what I thought about it. It's an interesting race. Not races I like to play a lot of. But, I figured I'd show you guys. I went with five laps. I wanted to go lower, but unfortunately, these kind of races, you can't. But, if you go in here, you get your cars fixed. And there it is. See it? My... My wheel strength went up. Of course, my vehicle health was still good, so. It's probably gonna take me a bit. Yeah, 7 of 27. I'd rather do a race for you guys that was quick, but unfortunately, these aren't. But for the F1 fan, these are perfect. Now, sort of, unfortunately, they're based on the streets of Los Santos and not an actual proper racetrack, which I'm sure they could probably do. But, unfortunately, they give us this. Okay, that's a danger zone right there. I thought I was gonna get out, and we have four more laps to do. So I'm sure I'll probably hit it at one point. Well, that's not too bad for the turnaround. I've done a couple of them so far. Um, like I said, I'm not really a fan of this style of race, but most are. I mean, you gotta kind of keep an eye on everything. That was just the... Um, like I said, for those who haven't really played this game that often and don't know the streets yet, it might be a little bit harder. But someone like me who's played this game since it basically came out, I've got this map down packed. Okay, apparently these cars like to spin out. This is not my personal car. It's just one I grabbed. This is not a car I want to buy for myself to just drive around. And I like my race cars, but not these ones. I don't like the F1 race cars. And I'm sure it'd be a little bit more hectic if I was in a race with other players. I haven't really bought any of the cars that usually have special races to them, except maybe the Transform races. I've got a few of the airplanes. I've got. I've got my fort under my my car import export thing which I wish we could sell because I don't use those vehicles at all like I have the the I have the oh what are I don't even remember what the vehicles are called but I have them all like the rocket Voltic and all those fun ones the Boxville. My my zombie apocalypse vehicles as I call them. I don't use them. I bought them when I had a lot of money and it was like, oh these are so cool and then I'm like, they're not as cool as I think they are. I don't really use them. Uh, every once in a while I do use the Wastelander. 
Because there's a, a little CEO mission for that. But back to this race. I think there are five in total, five or six. Each taken in different places around the map. There's a few at this end of the map. I think there's one around the airport. For sure, because I believe I did that one. And there's one at the other end of the map near the Gordo Lighthouse. And a couple in between them all. With obstacles very much like you, you're seeing in this one. This one I hadn't done before. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys one of the newer ones. Which is why when I first started that one threw me off the weaving in and out. Um, if, I, if I wanted to choose between the regular races, the stunt races, the transform races, or these, I would probably go with just either the regular stunt races that you're not transforming or anything in, uh, or using like the Mini Cooper or whatever, or just the regular races themselves, and I'm talking just the land or bike races. Not the bicycle, but the bike. The motorcycles. The bike races are <laughs> slow. Because you're using a BMX or whatever bike you choose. A lot of spamming X with those ones. This is usually... The races are usually what I use when they're up on a double event week to get money and... RP and it, it's been recent that they've done it quite a bit I use the contact missions too to rank up I mean I got everything that I wanted to heisting is my least favorite thing in this game to do I mean I'll, I'll do the occasional setup but which I need to eventually show you guys hopefully a setup or two from the casino heist that I can do by myself because you can do some of them by yourself but they're difficult like really difficult I was gonna show you guys how to get the weapons but that. Now, these races For those who are missing this stuff. You can probably just do this yourself though. Most of you are actually doing the racing games. But it's my pastime in this game because it's just like the easiest thing to do. Especially by yourself. You don't want to have to worry about anybody else. I know I do that a lot. I usually just like to check how much I have left checkpoint wise, how close I'm getting to the end. Because I mostly just pay attention to the road. I don't pay attention to the track, if that makes sense. And if you've made it this far in the video, I have to ask what is your favorite thing to do in Grand Theft Auto? Whether it be a certain race, a heisting, do you like doing missions, death matches, last team standings, just sitting around doing your CEO work or your motorcycle club work. Because that's an interesting thing to see, like what people really enjoy in this game. As you can see, I finished first because I'm the only one playing, of course. Got all our money, our RP. And I will leave this here. I hope you enjoyed me talking about the races and all that fun stuff and rambling on about some of this. I would love to make some more GTA content. I'm hoping at some point to do so. I've just sort of run out of ideas, but at the same time, I'm like, 
what can I do? Because I do still like this game, even though I don't play it as often anymore. But we'll see. We'll see when my brain decides to go, hey, let's do this. All right, let's load in. In the car, like Aroma. We will leave this here and I will see you all in the next video.